Are you excited for the washable paint and pour art set from Crayola? I am super excited. I saw this at Toy Fair and I knew I wanted to try this. Just to let you guys know, I received this from Crayola in exchange for an honors review, but I picked this one out. They let us pick out two toys. And I picked out this one and the flower kit and the flowers were so fun to make. You should check that video out. But today we're gonna check out the paint and pour set and I'm super, super excited. Can't wait to show you. Let's get this open. I have opened it once. This is all our paint, the stir stick. I don't think let's just get a picture of it. It's probably good because then I have an idea of what comes in it and how to put it together. All right, got our stir sticks. We have three canvases and right off the bat, I see that probably three canvases might be a little bit not very much, especially for a set. That means you can only do this three times. Luckily, I have more canvases in my closet. I have these canvases in my closet, which will fit. They're not the same size, but I could go and find this size if I wanted. If you look at this, this fits in here like that. There's still a little bit of wiggle room, so you could use these smaller canvases. This ball goes in the middle. It's a little joint. This thing I found out is for to put on the bottom. So you could tip it yourself instead of having to use the thing that I'm gonna set up. You'll see on the bottom of this, this just fits into here like that. And we also have these little clips right here that are going to attach like that on all four sides. Make sure <laughs> this little lip is on the inside. You can attach like this, but you don't want to do that. You want it to attach like this. Okay, probably the trickiest thing about this thing. This is gonna be this, and you're gonna be able to turn it around like that. We'll put one of our canvases inside. Let's look at the instructions, why don't we? Just to make sure we're doing everything correctly. Since we have all four of these attached, we place the canvas and tray, which we have already done. And then we fill a beaker to the 20 mil line, add a half a tablespoon of water. So I do not have water, how to go get that. Stir with a stick until the paint is smooth, pour paint into a small paper cup. Rinse out the beaker before starting the next color. Oh, well. Okay, repeat steps one, two, three for each color you choose. Then pick a pour technique from the four show below. We have pour each color from the paper cup directly onto the canvas. Pour half of the color from each paper cup slowly into the beaker to create layers. Repeat with the remaining paint in each cup. Pour layered paint and beaker directly onto the canvas. Simple pour, strainer pour. Place the strainer in the center of the canvas. Slowly pour through one fourth of each paper cup of paint into the strainer using a circular motion. Repeat until all cups are empty. Layered strainer pour. pour. Prepare your paint just like number two, layered pour. Place the strainer in the center of the canvas. Slowly pour the paint layers from the beaker into the strainer with the same circular motion and remove the strainer to make your design. Hold tray handles to tilt the canvas until paint covers the entire top and sides. Lift the tray off the adapter. Let canvas dry about five minutes. The first technique, I'll try with this little thing. Let's look at the colors that come in here. And the thing about these colors is too, you can make your own colors. Which I am totally gonna do. So we have lots of red. They give you tons of paint. And they give you, that would be my complaint so far is they only give you three canvases. They give you all this paint. So we could do pink. You could do like, okay, I'll do pink, purple, and yellow to start with, and then maybe like a blue, a green, and a yellow. I have my measuring spoon now, half a tablespoon. I'm gonna put the water in first. Oh gosh. Hmm. Let's see, we'll just do this. Okay, so we got half a tablespoon in there. That is not a ton of water. They just want you to thin it down a little bit. Uh oh, <laughs> that's me pouring water everywhere. I think there's a tray. Now I have my yellow. See, so yeah, it's kind of goopy. That's why they want you to measure it, probably. 
All right. So that's about 20 right there, which if you want to just eyeball the rest, you'd be like, oh, I'll empty it about to there. So I will pour this in here. Awesome wood prefer just to put it in. So look at it. I still have probably half of the paint still in there. Oh, I think I was supposed to mix it in here. That would have made it a little bit easier. We'll do that next time. So I'm stirring it in here. Yeah, my bad. Maybe what I will do. Okay, I, I got these plates for this reason. Here. I'll pour some of the water in here, not all the paint. So then I can just stir it up. Then I can pour it out. Very interesting process here. I almost want like a little spatula or something to take this stuff out with. Look at how much paint I still have in there. Okay. Now I know why they give you so much paint. I am going to go clean this out. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is this one. I'm gonna do 10 of this one. Let's see, where are we at? Not quite to 10. Where's 10 at? Oh, there we go. All right, 10 of that one. It wants to drip. Okay, and then 10 of this one. Okay, we're about at 20. Then we will pour in our water first. So that hopefully, crossing fingers, it'll come out a little bit better this time. Stir it up in the beaker. This is our pink color. It's turning pink. Okay, very cute. All right, plate. And we'll pour this in the beaker. Came out a little bit better this time. Look, there's still so much paint in there. I almost just want to pour it into there. I'll go clean this out. Our last one is going to be the purple. So we get 20 in here. So far, only thing I would change, I feel like I'm wasting paint. Uh, so, so, so far the only thing I would change is kind of skip the step with the beaker. I know you have to put in that much water to 20 mLs. So if you could figure out like the consistency you need. Oop, I already got some on the canvas. If you can figure out the consistency you need beforehand, then you wouldn't have to do, where's our cup? You wouldn't have to do this whole process. And the amount you need. Okay, or you could just pour straight from the beaker onto here. All right, we're, I'm gonna start with my darkest color, because why not? So I said, place this in the, the center so maybe we'll do this one first. Okay, okay, and then we'll try the yellow. And then we'll try the pink. Okay, and then we'll kinda, that's an interesting pink. I didn't realize it would be so pink. Okay, then we'll try a little bit more purple. What do you guys think so far? You guys like it? Try some more yellow. Definitely a messy activity. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Look at all that going on there. I do like this little spin thing. 
It does make it easier to kind of move the paint around, then we'll put more pink on here. The last of the pink. We might have a little bit more yellow we can do. I mean, purple. Okay, and then let's see if we have any more yellow. Okay, look at how cool. So now we're starting to get close to the edges. That's why we have this little paint pour thing right here. I love it. It's so pretty. There's definitely a ton of paint on here. I'm just trying to get all the corners. Okay, so now I have all the corners. I'm going to bring this design a little bit over this way. Okay, now I'm gonna remove this strainer. See what we get in the center. And that's a lot of paint, guys. A ton of paint. Do we need to put that much paint on there? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna let that sit. I said five minutes. Next, we're gonna do green, blue, and yellow. So we'll have to make our own green, blue, and yellow. It wants to like, I'm trying to make it level so it can dry. That little uh, ball at the bottom is kind of tipped. So make it not tipped. We're going to let this dry for about five minutes. And then I'll come back and check on it. I'll put it on here. And while that is going on, we can probably go wash our cups out. And I can make some more paint while that's drying. All right, this time, we are going to eyeball it. Because I don't want to waste as much paint. We're just, it's like, you know, the thing when you bake. You bake the first time, you make your stuff, you see if it needs to be exact, and you realize probably not. So, actually, this will be a test to see if it does need to be exact. I'm going to just put this half a teaspoon in each of these cups. This already has yellow, so I can probably just add the blue to it and see where we're at. Do you see how much paint is still on this thing? It's a crazy amount. You know what would be really cool? Let's just use a stir stick too as we go through it. There's so many things you can. All right, we are going to make our green paint, green and blue. Just add a dab. So that looks pretty green. According to my consistency last time, this would probably not be uh, enough. So I'm gonna add another dab of of blue, add another dab of yellow. Oh, that was a lot of yellow, so we'll see where we're at there. You just wanna make sure it can pour, but, and it's not too thin. So, it's like a dark green, that's pretty. Can you guys see that? It's kind of dark inside that cup. All right, our next one, we're gonna do yellow. We already have the water, so we're just gonna guesstimate this time. Oh, that looks good. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Do you like my... Hmm, looks a little thin to me. It's like baking. You, you know how much stuff is supposed to be on there. Very good consistency there. All right, now we do our blue. We already have our water in there. Okay. This will be very pretty. I'm gonna do just a light more. I see why they give so much paint, but I still see. Okay, we'll see if this one turns out like the other one. So next, it says to take this off. Super easy to take off from the bottom. It has dried for five minutes. Um, but yeah, it will probably, I would guess it might need, oh gosh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, it will probably need at least overnight. I would imagine, cause it's very paint 
that is all clean. This time we've read the instructions. We've seen how they do it. We're gonna make our own. I am not gonna use this little, actually I might. I thought that was pretty cool how it does what it does. I'm gonna try doing a few colors all at the same time. And then I'm gonna try the little stir stick. So I'm gonna get a little creative with this one and see how this goes. So I'm gonna do two colors at once. See how that goes. Oh wow, look at there. We got a little tip right there. So that's where we're going. And then we're gonna do the blue in there. So now, now, I'm gonna put the blue in. This is like Green Bay, Green Bay uh, Packers colors. The paint is looking good. It's about the same consistency as before. It'd probably be more exact if if I had used uh, exact measurements, but you can still see it's coming out pretty nicely. So I'm gonna take, ooh, I like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna start to use this little pour stick and create some swirls in it this time. So I wanna see that. You don't want too many because you don't want to blend it, the colors all together. You can see we're kind of losing some of that yellow but that is so cool. We're gonna bring this down here. Ooh, get that corner. Ooh, I love that marbling that's happening over there. So we're kind of creating these little swirls. And I just add a little bit of yellow because I feel like we're missing a little bit of yellow up there. So you can see it's kind of taking this in and just this one I like, this one better than the other one. So this is a really fun thing. You can just kind of experiment with whatever colors you want. And again, I will let this one dry for five minutes, but this one I kind of had more thought that I put into it. Uh, I said I wanted to look a certain way. This one I kind of just put it in, but you could really experiment with this. This is a really neat thing. My complaint would be I still have plenty of paint. I have one more canvas and I still have I have these five, these five bottles plus five more. So at least, I would want at least maybe like seven to 10 canvases. That would be my only thing with this because I feel like there are not enough canvases to get as much color as I want. And you do have to be careful with the blending if you want this marbled effect. What I would like to do is use that spinner thing. You have this spinner thing, but the thing is you put it on the bottom and then you can spin it with your hand. But if I'm spinning it this way, I'm getting paint everywhere. So I don't know how to solve that problem. Maybe if you went outside. But other than that, isn't this way cool? Which one was your favorite? Do you like the green, blue, yellow, or the pink, purple, and the yellow the best? I hope you guys have a great day. Check out some of my other videos. I have videos on colored pencils, uh, markers, crayons, some other projects that you can do also. This was a Crayola paint and pour art set. I did receive it from Crayola in exchange for an honest review and I really do like it. I would use it again and I did give my honest feedback that I would put more canvases in. Other than that, it was a fun, fun project to do. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.